What is up you guys? Welcome back to the homestead. Mike and I are bouncing around a little bit. We have mentioned in previous videos, we're getting meat chickens. Mm -hmm. So the time has come for us to build the chicken tractor and get that process going. Let's do it. Go again. Okay, so we have never built a chicken tractor before. We've never had meat chickens, but it's something that Mike and I wanted to try this year, see how we like it. So we have some design, a design that we're thinking of for how this chicken tractor is gonna be. We have enough flat spot, enough of a flat area down here at the bottom, kind of by the chicken coop, where we'll be able to move this thing around. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, we're thinking like nine by nine feet. That'll give us 81 square feet inside of this thing, probably about I don't know, foot and a half to two feet off the ground um, will be the ceiling of it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, 25 chickens, you know, we've read anywhere from a foot and a half to three square feet per chicken. Like Liz says, we have never done this before. So we're really go just trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, 25 chickens at three square feet is 75 square feet per chicken. We got 81, so this should be plenty of room for these chickens. So we'll see, see how it works out. Mm -hmm. So out of this pile, we have a few that we think are a good enough size. We're going to cut them into four. Cut this one into four. Yep, quarter it up. Quarter it up. And that'll, that'll be the framework. That'll be the framework of this thing. down with this sure yeah so i'm thinking the, this part can go to the inside okay okay so that tree makes the base of this of this thing yeah something like that pretty good size pretty decent. so yeah cut that other tree up that'll be the top and then we have a bunch more boards to cut as the sides yeah so we can stand it up works out good it's big. Yeah. Big, big. So it looks good on that end. Pretty even. Pretty small, but pretty even. Maybe come around to this side. And it's pretty far off. Pretty uneven. Gonna slice all these up. These are all just like mill ends. These are the leftover boards that when we're cutting up chiplap, the mill can only go so far down. So these are like two inches thick, uh, inch and a half thick probably. But a board like that, you can get three boards out of it. So we'll need a bunch of these to be the uprights on this and also like the diagonal uh, bracing. So we're gonna put these on the mill, slice them all up.
Okay, so we have our two by fours. We need eight of them. <laughs> two by whatever. <laughs> two by whatever. Yeah. We need eight of them at two feet because upright. Yep. Right there. Measure, measure, cut, cut. Measure, measure, cut, cut. Also. Yeah. Corners. Okay. Hold it a little better. So make sure that you don't miss out. Just be there. Oh, just be there. We're taking our shot. Bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We'll play loud. The crowd. Should we see if we have enough fencing for this? Of course we didn't measure or anything like that. Okay, so we're scheming this thing. We know for sure we're not gonna have quite enough chicken wire, so we have to go ahead another roll of that. But we think we have enough metal to cover about half of the top and half of the sides to kind of enclose it a little bit more. So yeah, we'll have enough metal to do this and then those sides. This thing's getting pretty stout. Looks good though.
Okay, can you just face me? Yeah. Get your lens clean. I'll, I'll clean it. Okay, look up. Good? Yeah. Okay. So that was a perfect throw together project that we needed to get done. Mm -hmm. All these materials are sourced from our property or leftovers from the build, you know? So this was siding that we had left over. The side was siding that we had left over. Mm -hmm. um, so this has not cost us much yes. hardware. Hardware, that's about it. Yeah, we, time. We ran out of fencing there at the end. That was a leftover roll from the chicken coop. So mm -hmm. we have to go to the store, get some more fencing and do like a gate. Yes. Figure out how to move this thing around, sorry. Right, well, yeah, we need to figure out how to move it around for sure. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of scheming wheels, I think, on the back of it. Mm -hmm. um, so then we can either just hook the four wheeler up to the front or, you know, have a big tow bar, big handle, we'll walk up, pick it up, right. drag it across. And then we also need to scheme the gate, like Liz was saying, um, right. that big opening, cover that up with a gate so we have a way to access their food and their water. Yep. Um, and hopefully this works. We've never done anything like this before. Um, we're kind of just winging it. I know it's definitely something we've been wanting to try um, mm -hmm. to do meat chickens from like the very beginning and harvesting them on our own. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we end up liking it. We can do it in years to come. Yeah, hopefully. And, yeah. And hopefully you guys like this video. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing down below. See how this whole process kind of pans out. Mm -hmm. And we'll catch you in the next one. See you next time.